Uh, good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm well, Roger. How are you? Excellent. Most excellent. I've got no complaints. Uh, as long as, I, as, long as, look, as long as I don't look at my RSPs in the stock market and stuff, <laughs> no, right? We do don't not. want to look at that right now, do we? Remember, remember how fun it was when yeah. the markets were hitting records and nobody was fun. paying attention? Yeah. Well, we it's, are now. Uh, it's, it's front page this morning. Uh, after a two-day sell-off of almost 2,000 points in the Dow, the biggest uh, two-day uh, tumults in history, in fact, for the blue chips. Of course, we are at these elevated levels where uh, just a week ago the Dow was close to 30,000. Uh, this morning it's just above 27 grand, but look at when you look at the long term cumulative. Well, I was yeah. going to say the cumulative effect of the coronavirus going through the global economy. 1.7 trillion dollars mm -hmm. has been wiped out of global uh, market value uh, just in the past week here, and and it, it wasn't just Monday and Tuesday. The Dow's been down six of past seven. Uh, the TSX, which sort of was an outlier for a while, has sort of started to catch up to this a little bit here. But uh, again, long term, we talked about how these markets have yeah, gone it's up been and going up and up. Right? That's right. 2019 was a terrific year, and it started well. And then all of a sudden, it's the big reset because you know if airlines aren't flying, that means hotels aren't going to be doing as much business. You know the the, the global travel industry, production, all of this stuff. It's it's the risk assessment. It's what the effects. markets are doing right now. Yeah, and so uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it, 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 again, it is still too early to say whether today is going to be a money loser, money maker. Um, you know, we're going to see volatility. We didn't actually see, what's interesting, a panic sell-off. And uh, market pros would say you have to see that. Everybody throwing, it, throwing in the towel before we actually reach the bottom. So we could see a little bit more selling. Price for oil is close to a one-year low. Got to mention that because the price for gas has been coming down too. All right. Okay, so it is a, an interesting, interesting time. Yep. Uh, let's talk Disney for a second. Yeah. Some changes up at the top there. Yeah, Bob Iger stepping down. Uh, he's almost 70 years old. He's been at the helm of Disney for 15 years, took over from Michael Eisner back in the day, and has transformed Disney into just this gigantic company after the purchases of Pixar and Lucasfilm and Marvel and Disney Plus streaming. And, I, and it's basically saying, look, it's the time to make the transition. He's not uh, leaving or anything of that nature. Bob Chapek, who is uh, the head of Disney Parks, is going to be taking over the big job. Job, big shoes to fill, obviously, mm -hmm. but uh, when you've done all of these things to transform uh, Disney, also 21st Century Fox, they bought that too, for goodness sakes, um, you know, a 400% uh, percent gain on the stock price, yeah, you could probably take a little bit of a, yeah. uh, a rest a at this point, sure, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting, the stock is down a little bit because, again, it's sort of, he had hinted at his, at his retirement plans, but now not he's making them it. official, and it's a big change. Yeah. But it probably should be a smooth transition. Mike, thank you we'll very see. much, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. We've got you more too. on BT coming up in the snow after the break.